podcast. Are live. We are live. All right. They can't hear us yet. Right. <laughs> so I like that. I do too. All I right. Too. Let's get started. Yes. We're live. We are. Thank mm-hmm. you, everybody, for joining another episode of Black Money Matters. My name is Tamika Patrick. I'm Karen Weaver. And we are so excited. But before we introduce our special guest for today and tell you where we are, I do have to give a shout out. That was our first time playing our theme music, yes. Jamaica. And our, I got to give a custom a, That's right. Music. It was custom. We're so excited. I know. Uh, And we got to give a shout out to Ken, my music Simpson. Ken, my music Simpson. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken. So, yeah, look him up. Ken, my music Simpson. And now I'm going to share. You all share. If you are watching, share it because. Like, comment, share. That's what they say. Rumor has it. And so now let's tell them where we are. We're at Bauhaus. Yes, yes. We are. Bauhaus. Welcome to the house. Right. Oh, all right. Welcome okay. to the house. I do too. We are in what? What's the alley called? Buckham Alley. Yep, Buckham Alley. It's been coined as um, Black Buckham. Black Buckham. Buckham. Okay, that's getting better by the way. Come on now. Come we on. in the house in Black Buckham. Exactly. All right. And and you know what? I'm excited because we are here. What these are co-founders. That's correct. Co-founders. CEO. Yes. Lee Allen. Yes. Lee Grant Allen. Lee Grant I got Allen. it. I got it. <laughs> and CFO, the other co-founder, Antonio Forte. Yes, man. Fancy. And, uh, fancy. Yeah, fancy. <laughs> this is fancy. I mean, it's fan- you know what? This is fancy, but it's cozy. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember when I came here, I was so surprised uh, because I, I was coming for an event upstairs. Right. But I, I got, Jimmy, I came in here and the first thing I said is it smells so good. <laughs> I said it's, and, and it and it drew me in. And so we need to talk it's, about oh, this. I, and, and so as we've been walking through and looking at different things, I'm like, I like the acoustics in here. I'm like, I like the feeling and the I'm vibe. I'm still sharing, so you so, all just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> so I'm just like, this is a whole vibe. This Thank is you. a whole vibe. Appreciate so it. tell us how you got started, please. Well, I just wanted to comment on okay. um Karen, what you had said about coming here for the first time. Mm-hmm. So she came here for the first time for a pop-up event that we were throwing for a local designer. And that was one of the reasons why we started the space is to use it as an incubation space for designers and artists um, to be able to help them launch their brands, their products, and bring more awareness to um, what they're doing. Mm-hmm. So um, the event with a gentleman um, it was a miracle because I bought a bag. Exactly. exactly. Uh, what? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm thinking about miracle. Morning love. I, I, I bought a bag. I, in fact, I got two. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's special. Everybody know him. Um, great, great energy. All his bags are custom made. Mm-hmm. You can't beat that. Handmade at that. So I was just intrigued with the story and his craftsmanship. So he definitely amazing. invited. Right. Invited the him quality. Here. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. In fact, we did an interview with him okay. not that long ago. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, because you know when you find something good, you need to. And sometimes I like to keep it to myself. But when we're talking about what's going on with black businesses and entrepreneurship, uh, we share. Okay. We share. We want to tell other people mm-hmm. and let them know. But I was surprised you all were here. So how did how did this? I mean. How this happened? How did start? How did how did this space you know, come into existence? So, I'll I'll even take it back years ago. So, uh, me and Grant used to work together at uh, Journeys up in Birch Run. Oh, okay. So, it was a shoe store. So it was, mm-hmm. it was a shoe store. We were nineteen and twenty, and we've been best friends since we were shoot eleven, twelve years old. Right. So we grew up together, 
uh, in church and always been really big into like fashion sneakers. He used to actually model on fashion shows. I come to his shows and it just be like a whole vibe. Um, and then we were at work one day and we was like, you know what? One day we want to have our own, our own sneaker store, our mm-hmm. own streetwear store. Mm-hmm. Right. And then when COVID got started, I had started actually, uh, you know, selling shoes and things online. And when it really got started, I'm like, man, it is good money in this. And so I called him and I said, Grant, I said, you remember years ago, how we talked about opening up our own uh, store? I said, I think now's the time to do it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, let's do it. <laughs> and so that was it, easy, it went huh? from a let's <laughs> do it to, you know, it just manifested into this. Like one thing led to another. And I'll let him kind of elaborate on how all that got started. But it was just, I don't know, it just felt, it felt right. And um, like just kind of piggyback off what he was saying. So COVID, it was a bittersweet um, situation for for us, per se. We had some relatives that had passed uh, within the family. But also, um, I'm in finance at GM. And um, we had got hit with a notice. And they were like, yeah, we're going to take 20% of your, your paycheck. And it wasn't, a, it wasn't two months down the line, within three months. It was legit, like... I would say two or three weeks out. Wow. And um, from there, just being at the house, and I, I used to have to go down to Detroit often for work down at the Rensen. But since COVID happened, they um, they told us to start working from home. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I was just sitting around talking to my wife and my parents. And I'm like, you know, I need to make sure that we have multiple revenue streams. So my mind was turning at the house. What can I do? What am I interested in? What's my passion? Then lo and behold, this guy called me and it just, and it just clicked from there. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's open up something that we're passionate about. And matter of fact, let's do it here at home. Did, Did you know you were going, how did you come up with this spot? So this spot, we actually got a phone call from a gentleman over at Flint trading company. Because okay. we had kind of already been looking at um, properties around mm-hmm. the city of Flint. Because not only this, not only do we have this space, but we also have a property development company. Okay. So we had always been um, looking for buildings and spaces mm-hmm. and stuff like that downtown. And end up getting a call from another business owner down here saying like, hey, there's a store down here that um, I think the space is going to be available. Um, you should come check it out. And lo and behold, Satorial Boot Company was here. That's right. Satorial sure Boot Company that. was mm-hmm. here. And I still get like chills every time, like when I say it, because that was a confirmation for us that this was the right space. Okay. How? Can you? Because. Well, it's Satorial, it's a boot company. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to open up a sneaker right. a streetwear okay. spot mm-hmm. so out of all the spots and buildings downtown mm-hmm. this little space was a cobbler space mm-hmm. any other space could have came available mm-hmm. but it just so happened to be a bootmaker spot right mm-hmm. so to me like I, I told my partner i'm like this got to be the space mm-hmm. it has to be the space there's no other space available downtown it's right on saginaw street we're in buckham alley where there's other black businesses popping up like this this is it it felt right it felt it? right because it feels right when you walk in <laughs> it does I, yeah, because it when works. i came this is my second time in here i had been in here when when what was the name of it Satoria. yeah because i was so surprised to see uh you know he uh, was making the space right. right and but it when i came and this is my second time coming in as it's your business you are and as soon as i walked again that was what i said again it smells good and it feels yes. right yes. and it just it makes you it's a it's a nice welcoming mm-hmm. warm cozy kind of feeling in here this space that's yeah that's the point of coming to to a house right mm-hmm. when you come right. to somebody's house you want to feel invited you want it to have a nice energy or good vibe about it smell good you don't want to right. go nobody house that yeah, the house doesn't sm- <laughs> exactly <laughs> it, it don't smell right it, it, you know if it's thinking it don't make you want to stay right. and, and spend some time right and so like that was the whole concept that my partner came up with he was like when people come in here we want them to feel at home mm-hmm. right we want them to be able to they ain't got to come in here and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars but we want them to stay and spend some time and get uh-huh. to know us mm-hmm. and 
with doing all that, when you feel comfortable with somebody, when you trust somebody, then right. you start, you know, supporting them mm-hmm. different things of that nature and collaborating. Like that's the whole point of the space is collaboration more than anything. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up because that was something that was special and unique about this store. Thank so you. either one, you all talk about that because when you were telling me how things rotate and how people bring their, you know, just. Oh yeah. So from a collaboration standpoint, right. um, I'll start off with this. Even the design of the space was very much intentional. So um, our tables and racks were all designed by a blacksmith that's here in Flint. Our photography on the back wall, mm-hmm. uh, a phenomenal ph- photographer. His name is Adrian Hester. I don't know if anybody knows no legend. AD. He's legend a legend in Flint. In Flint. Okay. <laughs> that's his photography mm-hmm. of people um, here in the city of Flint um, and even from the murals within the walls. These are two, uh, we let me see, a total of three different mural artists from the city of Flint here. So um, everything in here was very much intentional and wanted to be collaborative with mm-hmm. business owners, artists, and designers for the space. Mm-hmm. But from a business standpoint, we had the mindset of wanting to utilize the space as an incubator space. So if you're a brand owner um, of a clothing line, mm-hmm. You can bring your um, clothes and stuff in here. We allow you to have pop-ups in here and you get to keep 100% of your proceeds during the pop-up. We don't take anything. Wow. We don't charge you a nice? payment or yes. anything like that. If awesome. you're from the city of Flint, we want to support you. So talk about the pop-ups, like some examples of, of the pop-ups. I know we just talked about Miracle, but mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about like if, if I were to come for I know, right? This was if, if I were to come for a pop up, like what could I expect to see? Um, you expect to see a DJ. Um, you would expect to see the actual artists themselves. A lot of people, a lot of businesses do have pop ups for artists and designers, but sometimes you only see the merchandise, or sometimes you only mm-hmm. see the art. We always make sure that you're able to um, collaborate and converse with the actual artists or designers themselves mm-hmm. to give them give you a better point of view of what their product is, Mm -hmm. but also on a business side for them, they get to talk about their own product. A lot of people are used to just selling online. Mm -hmm. It's a whole nother skill set to be able to talk about your design, Mm -hmm. your brand, your clothing in person. So that's another skill that these pop-ups bring to the artists and designers themselves. But um, music and just all around like good time to be to be honest um it's free flooring we have two spaces so a lot of times the pop-ups are upstairs Mm -hmm. and um we kind of let the artists or designers curate their own pop-up we just help facilitate the space so a lot of the pop-ups are different depending on um the artist or designer's need Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so every Oh, Art Walk. Right. Every second Friday, <laughs> sorry, every second Friday of the month, um, we host Art Walk. And that's exclusively to contemporary artists, or it could be photographers, painters. Um, actually, next Art Walk, we have a young lady that graduated from um, Kalamazoo mm-hmm. with her um, degree in fine arts and ceramics. Okay. So her pottery, um, cups, plates, anything ceramic. She does a beautiful job. So we have a little bit of everything, but okay, it's every okay. second Friday of the month we're doing art walk here. Okay. So you have art walk. So the art walk type pop-ups, like artists, mm-hmm. are every second Friday of the month. Right. What about like the other designers, like clothing designers? Those are on any on any day. Normally they're um, slated for a Friday or Saturday, okay. but majority of the time for designers, they're on Saturdays. Okay. And uh, we do that to help bring in influx of traffic because we know like a lot of our uh, demographic or customers, we get a lot of business on Saturday. So we mm-hmm. want to help boost their, um, mm-hmm. their traffic as much mm-hmm. as possible. So a lot of the pop-ups there on Saturdays, we try to do one once a month. Okay. And as us getting the word out to Flint Side News or uh, Flint Beat, mm-hmm. M5, yeah. our Instagram page, which is O U R B A U H O U S E. Our Bauhaus. Okay, wait, I'm going to put it in here. O U R B A U B A U H O H O U S E. U S E. That's intentional. It's intentional. It's our Bauhaus. It's a shared space. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. I put it in there so people will know Thank because you. we want them to go and check this out. You have another question. Yes, because I was reading when we when we were here earlier on the wall back there where it describes what that means, Bauhaus. Oh yeah, yep. So um Bauhaus is where it's an art movement, and it was one of my favorite art movements. And um, what made the Bauhaus art movement so special was the fact that it, it was the first art movement that allowed for collaboration. Okay. It was a school. And um, within the school, normally traditional art schools, you have schools for painters, you have schools for interior designers, you have school for architecture. But this particular school, they allow for um, interdiscipline. So it didn't matter what your specialty was for you to come to this school. And um, that's what made this movement so powerful because it was one of the first movements that had an effect on every discipline of art from interior design, architecture, painting, photography, and fashion. Hence why mm -hmm. we did it. But the reason why we adopted that name was just for the collaboration aspect mm -hmm. of it. Because here in the city, you know, you hear a lot of people say everyone operates in silos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We wanted to break that stigma mm -hmm. to say if you're a painter, you're a fashion designer, you're into poetry or whatever, mm -hmm. you're welcome to come into this space and help us move our city forward as long as that's your mission. Mm -hmm. If you want to propel our city forward, you want to help do something positive in the community, you're here. Okay. You're and, it, and, it, and it shows by what's what's in here because I want people to see some of what you have in here. Um, and I don't know where do we start. Well, if we start this way. We can start. We start right, right. here. We can start, okay. Well, let's get started. Can we move around, Mickey? Mickey said, "Hold on one second because I do. I want people to see what you have here. So tell us when we can um, get on up." But you know, something else I do want you all to talk about is because when you walk in, you see all of this. Mm -hmm. And I always ask, you know, it wasn't just easy to just get started. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> not at no, all. No, it was not. It was, it was not. It's, it's, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. It's a process. Mm -hmm. and, and I give a lot of credit to my partner and brother here for uh, taking on a lot of responsibility of getting this space looking like it is because mm -hmm. when like i said when we, this thing first started i was in a process so i ended up going out to cali okay uh and was out there and so he was here building things out getting a lot of the, the sweat and stuff in here and i'll come back you know i was back here once a month you and know you jumping see in and see progress uh -huh. up and out here and there doing what i can do while i'm here uh and supporting financially but he put a lot of hard work and sweat into this and mm -hmm. like when I came back and seen the finished product, like it brought tear my because wow. it was just like it was both like man, crazy. like uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we were both yeah, crazy. I mean, because it was a dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a beautiful yeah. space. I mean, and again, this these are things that we were talking about before we even started the show. The how nice this space is. Mm -hmm. it, you didn't just turn the key in a building and bring some stuff in and say, "Y'all come on." Exactly. You really exactly. And what's funny about I'm so glad that you mentioned that. We can get up. Because what was funny about about that is we had the space for a year mm. before we opened it. And we were very intentional about taking our time and making sure everything was right. Mm -hmm. Because me and him both said we only get one shot to make right. a good impression. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our industry, you get a lot of young people who are trying to open up spaces and they just throw racks and mm -hmm. shelves up and just mm -hmm. let people come in and just throw a bunch of merchandise right. in and say, yeah. come shop. Right. <laughs> but when you come here, we wanted you to feel like you were in Chicago, you mm -hmm. were in a whole other state. Right. Different. And it is. And something beautiful can be here, right, right in here, the city. Right here in Flint. And we tell people that all the time. All the time. So what's on Can we start with these? Like some of these? Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So. Um, I was eyeing that. <laughs> <laughs> so this jacket right here is by a gentleman named Drew from the Aware brand. Um, one of our favorite brands that we have in the store. Very positive um, African American male with a, a positive message behind behind this brand. Love this guy. It's called the Aware brand. And then um, here are some of our custom design jackets. 
that we have. This is our nonprofit called Solids for Humanity. So what we do is we partner with um, artists to help design um, custom merchandise and then a, a profit of the uh, percentage of the proceeds go to our nonprofit. So. Someone said, uh, this is really great to see these young men being so positive in the community. Great example for young black men. Oh, good thank luck. You. Thank you. Very good. And so this is the section of the house we entered into. The closet. The closet. <laughs> so the yeah. first area that you're seeing, that we call that area the residential area. You okay. come in, you hang out, relax. Mm -hmm. but and this, I want to go back to that mural too. Oh, oh okay. Yep. But this, this area this is, is the, the closet. closet. Okay. 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 So we have about what, 52 shoes? No, nah, we added some more pay. Oh, wow. So we're, we're a little closer to over 62 shoes on display which we have more inventory but just for aesthetics and keeping it minimalistic we don't want to flood people's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. senses when they walk in and right. get bombarded with just a bunch of things and uh -huh. stuff right uh give it make make it a little bit more visually appealing different things of that nature and a little easier to digest so got our shoes a couple pair though, on the <laughs> on the shoe wall of our closet you know so when you come into a closet you got a little bit of everything you got your shoes you got your jackets yes. you got your shirts your hoodies your pants hats all the stuff you find in the closet and everybody wants their closet to be organized so you mm -hmm. just come in and you know pick up here pick up there and that's kind of yeah. the concept here right to have a free flow on a huge walk-in closet to where you can just go in and just feel like you can shop all the time mm -hmm. and so and Oh, go ahead. Like on, over here, like we got some of our some of our uh, brands that we have. So this one here, this is a brand called So Made Apparel. Another young man from the community, okay. graduated from Carmel High School, and doing some great things. A lot of people come in and really love his merchandise, really mm -hmm. good quality stuff. So a young designer itself. Um, and then we got a few brands that we are working with out of New York. So and that's I, a, I saw this one, and I want. You talk about because it says gangsters by flowers. Yes, yes. Talk about that. So, this particular young gentleman, he's out of New York, and um, the brand really resonated with us because it's really about giving somebody a chance. Mm -hmm. It's not about what they did in their past, um, what you think about them, what you see, how you, you see them dressed on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's all about what's going on on the inside. And even the toughest, roughest people that you may assume don't have a heart, mm -hmm. you still should treat them with respect and dignity because even gangsters <laughs> buy <Bob Lowers>. flowers. <laughs> I like that. But it's just a beautiful brand. Mm -hmm. Stands for something positive. We, we love it. But it's just really about giving people a chance. Don't judge a book by its cover. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Don't judge a book by its cover. And um, just, just to kind of elaborate more on the actual brands that we have in the store. Mm -hmm. So right now we have a total, I want to say, of four local brands. So okay. My One Zero, um, Good Boys, Soul Made Apparel, and um, Comfy. And um, obviously, Gangsters by Flowers and you know, Wear Brand, mm -hmm. they're not from here, but they're local. And then we have more higher end streetwear stuff. So... We have Spirit Guy, Advisory Board, Crystal, um, Represent, Supreme. But the whole reason that we put everything together in the closet is because a lot of our local designers, they're only one step away from being able to be in a Saks Fifth right. or a Macy's or any other high-end boutique. Mm -hmm. So why not? Right, right. Why not bring them into one um one I feel space? like I'm in a high end I do. Oh, and then, <laughs> I do. I do. That's, right here. In the that's right here. Yeah. I know oh. it. I, and, and you succeeded. Thank you. You succeeded. Thank you very much. So, oh, look. It hangs from the Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's. <laughs> yep, and a lot of racks, they go up and down. Mm -hmm. Just a different, a different vibe. Yeah, that's right. nice. You go into certain spaces, um, you know, around here, and everything just feels the same. Mm -hmm. We wanted to bring something different. And you, yeah, you did. You really did. And I have to give one shout out on uh, this yes. area. These, this uh, portrait right here is by a, a gentleman named Lattimore. These are two individuals from the city of Flint, young men that are in high school.
So it's funny, wow. at our grand opening, they actually came in. They did not know that they were placed in the store. Oh, wow. So they took pictures wow. in front of um, the portraits and everything. Uh -huh. And um, they have to ever have a life discount. <laughs> <laughs> that is just beautiful to walk in some place and just, oh, I'm see happy. your work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See yeah. your it's work. A it's, it's, it's a gallery. I mean, because it, is, it has an artistic feel mm -hmm. as well. That's you know, artistic and creative and, and those kinds of things. You getting it? Can we go to the um oh, you doing some oh no this is just well I noticed that you all have exactly yes so um I was working with Oakland for about I would say almost um ten months before before you passed. I'm mm -hmm. a managing partner of uh, Good Boy. Okay. So um Oakland just really aligned with what we were trying to do is very welcome and when we moved here in the space. It used to be upstairs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It used to be upstairs. And um, our brands and our vision for what we wanted to do in the city really aligned. And Oakland was a huge motivation because I'll still say today, Oakland was a pioneer, is a pioneer. And when it comes to the clothing brand and what he was trying to build in the city from an infrastructure standpoint, right. it's, it's unmatched. His plan was unmatched. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had a whole area to where he was doing manufacturing, like cutting and sewing, screen printing, mm -hmm. all in one house, all in one brand. No brand in the city was doing that or is doing that. Mm -hmm. So um, we take our hats off to Oakland right. and give a blessing. Right. Blessing to the city of Flint. You're, you're absolutely right. I know it's hard for me to just walk on. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I mean, it's the shopping store, so we have to shop. <laughs> that might be. Which ones do you like, Jamaica? Oh yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> really, yes, enough. Wow. But you were saying that it wasn't just easy. This was a struggle for both of you. Yeah. It was a You want to want to elaborate? I, I think outside of like the manual work that goes into doing something like this, the most taxing thing is the emotional aspect. Mm -hmm. You know what it does to you uh, mentally, and even when you come across people who you think right. will support you, mm -hmm. but you don't get that support, or or you get a little right. bit of a. Yeah, no, I know. How do you say? <laughs> push back. Yeah, you get you get pushed back, right? Because yeah, uh, oh, they don't. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't want to say it, but you get haters, haters, right? Haters. That haters. don't understand like what you're mm -hmm. doing, so that's they kind of push back and say, "Hey, that's not gonna, that's not gonna survive here. That's not gonna live here." Uh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah people, people aren't gonna support you because you know this this isn't the area for that, right? And we got a oh, lot of that, a lot of a lot that, of that really? really? getting started. And, and and you would think it wouldn't be our own kind, but it was. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that, that was the thing yeah. that, that fortunately that was the thing that kind of like hurt the most us. You know, we were looking at some of these individuals like, you know, we really thought you would be like a support, right? Right? Mm -hmm. You know, like somebody that support us and and yeah. you know help us yes. to move this vision forward. But mm -hmm. you know, you're actually one of those people who <laughs> trying to trying to stop it before it starts, right? right. Yep. That whole right. girl middle. mentality, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's why we're, I mean, and really, that was one of the things we had talked about. Mm -hmm. we, we started doing Black Money Matters during COVID. Oh, okay. uh, and so it was interesting to listen to you talk about how, how all of this started in COVID because we, we did the same thing. We had been sitting around talking about, we're going to do this show, we're going to mm -hmm. do this show. And then we said, let's just do it. Let's just yeah. do it. And, and one of the things that we talked about, which is um, just thinking about people not supporting it, is we talked about how we, us, Black people, are the biggest consumers. So you would think, I want to be flying fresh. So I want you to open a store right here right. in my hometown. I got a, right I got a great in. statistic for you, and it goes along with us being the biggest consumers, right? In this country, African Americans spend the most dollars mm -hmm. in this economy, right? Mm -hmm. Trillions of dollars a year. But we're the most economically impoverished race of people, right? Mm -hmm. right? Um, there was a, a study done years ago probably about 20, 30 years, and it still holds true today. And it was showing about how long dollars last in certain communities. That's what we talked about, yeah. how it doesn't yeah. turn over in yeah. our so, community. So, mm -hmm. like, 
Asian culture or, mm-hmm. or Asian people, their dollar circulates in their community about 26 days before right. it leaves out. Mm-hmm. So that means they're spending their money with each with other for almost other. a and whole that's month exactly. before, exactly. before their people. money goes right. out to any other type right. of people. Yeah. Oh, right? American. Oh, I'm going to get oh, there. Right? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> so sad. Caucasian mm-hmm. people, their dollar circulates 18 to 21 days, okay. right? Uh, Russian people, the same thing, right? That same time span. But then when you get to African Americans, our dollar stays in our community for six hours. <laughs> which we, is uh, we huge, and we run someplace else to go so spend our money someplace else. Exactly. Spend our money and with everybody what, else, but us. when it comes time to spend with right. us, oh, you know, you're trying to rip me off. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm not getting a deal. And and we, always we always want a discount with each other. Thank right? You know, so we always want a discount, but we don't go in those other stores saying, How are you gonna hook me up? And the matter of fact, we brag about how much we look how much I spent on this Louis bag. Right. Exactly. Oh, right. That's exactly. that's a, it, so, it becomes it, it so. becomes a badge of clout or a badge right. of honor with how much you can spend with somebody else mm-hmm. when it comes to spending and supporting your people. Husband, he wouldn't give me. He wouldn't even give me a discount. We put school together. Right. How you about that? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You all yeah. better come here and shop. <laughs> come here and shop. This is <laughs> a nice right. place, and they have the stuff that we wearing. I, I will say this: when it comes to the spirit of, um, you know, kind of practicing what we preach. Mm-hmm. Just kind of bring it full circle. After all the, um, you know, the comments and stuff that was made to us about opening up the space and mm-hmm. the difficulties that we've had, anybody, whoever spoke against this place is still welcome to come here. Mm-hmm. Because as a people, we always talk about how divided we are. Right. But we also have to be able to showcase how we could come together and put exactly. our differences exactly. aside, even if we don't agree with one exactly. another. Mm-hmm. To push I could still like forward. what you sell. Yeah, I'll tell you this stuff first. You don't have to like what we sell, but you don't have to down me at the same exactly. time. Right? Exactly. Or or speak bad about exactly. me in, in front of other people exactly. to where they don't want to support. I, right. I'm about to say that y'all yeah, been watching our social media <laughs> and eavesdropping on our conversations. Because these are the conversations that we're having. That we can come together <laughs> and 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 I and I don't have to necessarily like you to support your business or at least be quiet and let somebody else support your business right. like said, exactly. because at the end of the day we need to that zero days that six hours that should be no more we can make each other millionaires we, we can put can. each other's kids through school. you know what i i made a comment to one of the people who came in that was giving me a strike and i said you know what we don't have enough ownership within this community right to, to be, be fighting, fighting to against be each fighting. other. I said, mm-hmm. let's mm-hmm. find a way to work together. That's right. Mm-hmm. We don't have nothing to be arguing about, mm-hmm. to be quite frank. Right. Mm-hmm. We don't own enough. All the arguments country. we have, right. we should all be arguing the same thing. Mm-hmm. We're, we're right. not with each other. In Absolutely. the city of Flint, we have, what, two buildings that are owned by African Americans mm-hmm. in downtown? Right. Two. Oh, I mean, outside of... Um, the brother who's been doing an amazing job with all the Glenn uh, Wilson mm-hmm. outside of Glenn Wilson, mm-hmm. but personally, right. individuals, mm-hmm. right? Two, mm-hmm. which one is that? The Patterson building, it's the Patterson the building, and then um, Kathy, the Kathy, Kathy oh, oh yeah, Holla. oh yeah, right. healthy our, dollar. I can't dollar. say enough mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. Kathy, mm-hmm. she's been a huge help with us, yeah. yeah. Huge I like support. Kathy, yeah. she's a lovely lady, she, she is. love her very much. Yeah, she sure I, is. I love that the name her is the Hefty Dollar House. Well, her, her, <laughs> if she still has her cat, that's what her cat's name oh, was Holly. Oh, <laughs> <know that>. yeah, <laughs> I can see her. And she's a Delta, I'm an Alpha, so we have a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> so, except you want to see some yeah, of the murals the, the, and uh-oh. the murals, the pictures. So, we talk about those? these yeah. pictures right here, like I said before. Adrian Hester, Adrian goes by Hester. AD. He is a photography legend, photographer legend around the city of Flint. If it's any brand, if there's any um, business, he's probably either made a flyer or shot the photography work for it. He's, he's a legend around the city of Flint. And these are all um, local, local kids right here in the city. The kicks are kids in the city. And obviously, you know, the, the water, but these pictures really resonated to us. And uh, mm-hmm. we appreciate Asian and Hester for those pictures. Now, you said somebody did this mural too. Yes. Yeah, so this mural right here was done by a gentleman named um, Aaron Whitaker, her brother, Lighthouse. Okay. Um, 
we really love Vasky. Um, he's one of our you know, favorite favorite artists. So this was a tribute to Vasky. I kind of see his hair here, his eyes and face, and the signature tag oh, down okay. here. And um, just around his head is just a lot of streetwear um, lingo, and also some things that were just like pressing around the city. So. Yeah, we appreciate Aaron mm -hmm. right here in the city of Flint. Mm -hmm. and, um, great artist. Great artist. And this one right here was done by a gentleman named Paulie. Um, another Basquiat tribute. Okay. But um I like the colors. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All the nice colors. Told them what we wanted and they just came in and, and executed but um, very grateful for, for both of them. So, Pauly and um, Aaron Whitaker. So, let me ask you, either of you, this because you said, like, you have upstairs. That's where I went for the pop up. How do people, if they want to get in touch with you about using the pop up space? Um, they can get a hold of us on Instagram. On the Instagram. But we also have um, an email. Okay. Our email is ourbauhaus okay. at gmail.com. Our at Gmail? Yes. Same thing as our IG handle. Okay. So let me ask you a, a, a consumer-based question. So if someone wanted to just come in, pop in, buy a jacket, buy some shoes, what are your hours of operation? Thursday, Friday, Saturday from 12 to 7. Okay. And then on Tuesdays, we do appointments. Mm -hmm. Appointment only. Okay. Okay. A little personal yep. shopping. Yeah. Personal yeah. shopping. Yeah. 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 Get a hold of a lot of shopping. our merchandise before it's available to the general public. You can yeah. sign up for appointments uh, okay. through our IG page. That sounds like a birthday week. Trying type to do something different. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's going to be National Tribute. It's almost um, National Tribute. <laughs> well, right now it's still Karen <laughs> Mom. But that's not the first one. Y'all do that. It's a different experience. But that would be. That's not how many. We'll tour the art. If we have art on display upstairs, we'll take you upstairs, explain the artwork, mm -hmm. and then give you a personalized shopping experience down okay. here as well. Okay. That's really That's nice. nice. You guys hear that? Play your special days, personal right shopping experience, um, or just pop shopping. in Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at some things, Jamaica. Are you? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I like what you said though, because one of the things you said is they will, what did you say? You will personally design things. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we do um, sneakers, custom sneaker designs, or clothes. If you have um, jackets, um, jeans, or coats that you want personally designed, mm -hmm. you could bring it in. We have a consultation, talk wow. to us about it. We do it all. That's now that's different. Mm -hmm. Do it all. Yeah, that's different. That's unique. Thank you. And I mean, you all. So what's going to be next? What's next? Um, honestly, right now, just um, staying open. <laughs> well, staying that's a big open, one because you've been a year. It's been a year. We're going on a year. Our one year anniversary will be June 10th. Oh, yep. okay. That was Tension. Wow. Okay. That so was, actually, I like that. Okay. So our first pop-up wow. was actually Juneteenth of uh -huh. 2021. Right. Like once we actually got our key. So the space wasn't even renovated yet. Uh -huh. uh, we didn't have Juneteenth. anything here, but like we allow that. people to come in and showcase their uh, artwork and their merchandise on Juneteenth in 2021. And it was only right that we did our grand opening last year on Juneteenth, the day that we were right. actually opening our doors to people. But that was a part of um, us trying to educate people on the process because mm -hmm. if you think about it, we did one pop up a month. So every month we brought designers in here and let them just set up shop. But each time they would come in, it was a little bit more dinner. Yeah. We may have painted the walls. We may have just did the sounds we like may have just brought a around. place called Eight One O News Media <laughs> Group. The <laughs> that that process, right? Because that's what we're doing. Oh, that's yeah. what we're doing because we're putting put put in a studio together. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah. you have to come by sometime. Oh, oh please, yeah, and, and see it. But we wanted to bring people here. Thank you. This we time, it. we appreciate it. Uh, so they could see what you all have been doing, and if they it. haven't been here, we're missing out. So I just think this is just really so nice. 
So I know we're running out of time, but I do have a question Go because ahead. there are a lot of young people wanting to be entrepreneurs, wanting to, you know, build their brand. What advice would you give someone starting a business or wanting to start a business? What advice would you give them that they don't just like traditionally see just everywhere? I'll, I think ahead. I'll start out by saying this. Um, the most valuable thing any of us have is our time, mm -hmm. right? So the best thing you can do is if you do have like an idea or a passion, dedicate more time to that than you do your nine to five. Right. If you're going to go spend 40 hours a week working for uh, GM, Amazon or wherever you may work, then you need to spend equal or more time working on what, what you want to bring to the world, what you want to curate. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't put as much time, effort and energy into what you want to do, a lot of times you're going to let those passions die out or mm -hmm. fall by the wayside. Right. Um, I think for me, um, the best advice I can give is. Well, two things. One, start. Yeah. Start. You know what? Um, start. Yeah. Start. Right. You have to start. We didn't have all the um, all the answers. I mean, I have a I have a business. I'm a business major um, and my master's in supply chain. But even with my degrees, I didn't understand everything that went into entrepreneurship mm -hmm. or even this sector of the industry that we're in. Mm -hmm. But we started every day. We're learning something new. Mm -hmm. So start. Start somewhere like and that. every day you should be doing something to educate yourself in a field that you're passionate about. Whatever your endeavor is, every day you should be learning something new to push your business or idea or goals forward. The second thing is visions, ideas and goals. Um, truly understanding that whatever your goal or passion is, or passion is the Lord gave you that vision. Mm -hmm. um, I would say to any entrepreneur, if someone don't understand your vision or what you're trying to do or build, that's okay. Because it's not for everybody else to understand mm -hmm. or know because the Lord gave you that vision. It's for you to bring it to life. So, you know, people were talking to us constantly it's not supposed to be here. Why are you doing this? That doesn't wow. make sense. You're doing too much. Blah, 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 blah. And to be honest, we lost a pitch competition. I would say a month before we opened up the space. Mm. I could have just shut, shut this whole thing down. Mm -hmm. People were saying, why are you selling shoes? And why do you have art in, in the space like that? You're doing too much. It don't make sense. It had never thrived. Look at God. Look at God. It's not for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Not for mm -hmm. people to understand what the Lord is putting your heart and your mind to do. You just got to execute. And um, you know, you know, and I'll even add this to it. A lot of times when people open up businesses, they can't get into the business five and six months and had a business fully sustaining itself. But like you said, like this was God's vision that He gave to us, and you know, we spent a lot of money getting this thing open. Mm -hmm. But it's to the point now where we don't pull out. Of our pockets mm -hmm. to buy inventory, mm -hmm. pay the bills. It's like, you know, like the business sustains itself. Yeah. Even with the limited amount of marketing that we've done, most has been word of mouth and just getting out there to people. You yeah. know, God is sustaining us and helping us to grow at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's funny because it does all go together. Thank you. It does. I mean, when you, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. You come in and it flows. It does. And it goes together. And it's beautiful. And I was mm -hmm. telling people, I always say fashion is just art in motion. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it's like, why wouldn't a piece of fine art go with shoes on the wall? Mm -hmm. Every every designer from sneakers to apparel, they're what? Artists. Mm -hmm. They create. They design. Right. right. There's and a the, common thread. There's a common, there's a thread. common thread. And we that's what makes it feel seamless. And it does. Thank you. Yeah, it does. I know. I know. Any anything else that we didn't talk yeah, about? What did we not ask you? Our viewers to that you want people to know about Bauhaus. I want oh, them to come. I was right. gonna say come shop here. Come, right? Come, come check it out. Come check because it out because you'll be back. <laughs> I mean, you will. You'll be back. You will. All you have to do is come because we're. Let's tell them where we are again. 
We're in 511 Buckham Alley. And what did you call it? Black, Black Buckham. Buckham. Black Buckham. Black Buckham. Right. Buckham. She is at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up to the house. Pull up to the house. <laughs> A two oh. floor operation. Downstairs is our retail portion, and upstairs is our, our art gallery space and workshop. So, and so, and on Art Walk days, yep. there is a pop up. There's a that's pop-up. happening here. It's kind of like a party. Exactly. I mean, it, it, because that's what it was. Because I remember I came in and I was walking around here, and actually, I remember I got a, the T-shirt, one with the F and the rose, because it yes. says something about rising. Right. Exactly. And I liked that. Yep. That's my one zero. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like that's our that's our story. Mm-hmm. Some beautiful that's coming out of a tough situation. Right. Mm-hmm. That's us. That's Flint. That's Flint. That's Flint. And so, and and I walked around, and then I said, "Oh, I'm supposed to be upstairs." upstairs. <laughs> because <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> but I was I was so fascinated, really, mm-hmm. by everything in here that I stayed down here for a while. Then I said, "You know what? I'm supposed to be at." And he said, "That's upstairs." And I said, "Oh, okay." And then I went upstairs, and it was a whole another vibe going on. It was. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. You could just kind of go up and down. And she's been down. telling me about this place. Since. I have been. Oh, okay. Appreciate, <laughs> it. appreciate it. Thank you. I have much. been. So you have I have to have a brand ambassador. That's, I mean, <laughs> that's, I mean, it's not hard to sell something that's nice. Yeah. yeah, it's not hard to do that, and it's not hard to be an ambassador Thank when you. you see things that you know are making good things happen. And I like what you said as far as collaborating and bringing people into mm-hmm. a space and not operating separately in silos and right. turning our dollars over with each other. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, uh, this coming art walk, everybody should just come check us out. We got oh. we got something special. Oh, we got I something special. Okay. 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 Now, when is it? April, April 14th. April 14th. Uh, yeah. The oh, art walk is the second Friday in April from 5 to 9. We got something very special. We're very special. we're okay. launching something near and dear to us. I can't wait. And so <laughs> I don't want to put too much out there because because I kind of want you people to come it. in. Yeah, and, come in and, and find yeah. out to see what we're doing. But we're doing something that hasn't been done in our industry yet. Right. So oh, wow. Not. So it, not. as far as I know, we are going to be the first. Exactly. <laughs> to first to first have year. this type of collaboration. And so. you heard it here. April 14th, 5 p.m. April 14th, 5 p.m. Right. Uh-oh. Okay. Be here. <laughs> making, making history on Black Book. Right. Oh, exactly. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I mean, you all. We I, allow, know, you know, we I know. Too much. I'm really. I'm, I'm excited already. I'm excited it. for that song. How many weeks away? Three weeks away? I said, wait, weeks. three weeks yeah. or something? Not even three weeks. It's like not- two and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we already started this week, so we ain't going to put a full week. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Put over two and a half weeks. Okay, a little right? over so. two and a half weeks. You all get here. Get here to Black Buckham at the right. house. At, at the, the house. house. We're at the house. And I'm so glad we're here. And I really, I want to say thank you to you all for what you're doing. And that you didn't give up and let people, you know, because there are dreams crushers out there oh, yeah. and you didn't let that take place oh yeah you didn't let it take place Thank and you. i know you all have been some encouragement to somebody else yeah because there are people coming behind you who are watching you right who are watching people that you never even, even know right i mean and and they're watching you and because you've done what you've done they're going to do what they're going to do and, and we'll say this we're, we're really big on collaboration so if there is anybody watching and want advice and you know somebody that's going to Say you know what? Spend a little time and help you get your ideas and vision off the ground. We're open to mentorship. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, no, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. See? It doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, because there have been plenty of people that have invested in us right. to help get us where we are mm-hmm. today. So Very you know, true. we definitely want to pay that forward and just help lead somebody else down that path of entrepreneurship to get get their dream, get their baby off the ground. You know. Exactly. So we have Lee Grant. Alan yes, and yes. Antonio Fortes. Yes. They are the co-founders, the co-founders of Bauhaus. And this was, just, I mean, really, this was a pleasure for us to come. And before we go, tell the people when they can visit, when they can shop again, mm-hmm. and the address. One more time. All right. So address is 511 Buckham Alley, uh, right here in downtown Flint. Yeah. And our store hours is Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday from 12 to 7. 
All right, you heard. And when is appointment only? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday right. Tuesdays are appointment. Book your appointment on, on wow, Instagram. That doesn't make you feel. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. it was a private shopping experience. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Right. For thank being you. Our thank very you. Right. Thank, thank you. Yeah, and thank you all for tuning in for this this edition of Black, Black Money, Money Matters. Matters. See you next.